Hi there. Welcome to the Money Mastery Platform with Peter Asari Nyakum. Always remember, the goal isn't more money, but financial independence and financial freedom. Today, we are looking at a very controversial topic, sports betting. Yes, sports betting. You know, we are in an era where football is on the rise. The emotions, the passion behind football go beyond just watching the game. Now, people actually invest into this game. Yeah, so we have investors all over the world who, when a football match is going on, they will bet their money on one side. And in an anticipation of, of, of making a gain or winning something, so, how do you stop sports betting? Yes. We know people are making money from sports betting. People are making huge amounts of money. Betting on sports has become a widespread phenomenon, driven by the promise of making quick money and intensifying the overall sports experience. However, Beneath the allure of potential gains lies a darker reality that demands our attention. And so even as people make huge amounts of money from sports betting, from financial planning perspective, we think there is a darker reality behind all this. And this is why we want to do a video on why you need to stop sports betting it is not a sustainable way of building wealth and that is why today uh, we have decided to focus on this on this controversial topic so the aim is to share light on the five compelling reasons why individuals should seriously consider putting an end to their sports betting activities as the favor of gambling might be hard to resist it is crucial to understand that detrimental consequences await perpetual betters. And so, if you develop that addition and you don't stop, there are a lot of consequences that, that are ahead of you. And so, it is important for you to do away with it. Yes, put a stop to that. Even in your quest to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. From financial rain to emotional distress, the repercussion of sports betting can seep into various aspects of one's life, ultimately eluding the very joy that drew them into sports in the first place. And so let's look at reasons why you need to stop sports betting. One, it's financial losses financial losses with sports betting only one thing is almost certain loss if you have been betting for a long time then you know this is true maybe that is why you even continue under the hope that someday you will win big and so with sports betting one thing is certain you will lose yes and if you have experienced lost you are hoping you will win big so you can recover all your losses but that that isn't the case the chances of that happening are also very slim we don't bet on it and even if you do win big what is next wait for another big win after losing a hundred times as so sports betting when you win today the probability that you will lose a hundred times before you win another one is high. Yes. And so you are in a financial roller coaster. Yes. You go here, you come here, and that is, that is a challenge. Sports betting involves a significant element of chance. And it is challenging to be consistently predict outcomes correctly. As a better, you may underestimate the risk 
and become overly optimistic about your chances of winning. As a result, you might bet with more money than they can afford to lose, leading to substantial financial losses. Continuous losses can accumulate, causing severe financial strain and potentially impacting your ability to meet essential financial obligations. And so the more you engage in sports betting, the more you cause severe financial strain. And that will impact on your ability to meet your financial obligations. Because any money you get, because you have lost so much in sports betting, you want to recover that. So you put that money into sports betting, thinking and with the hope that I'll be able to recover. So the first reason why you need to put a stop to sports betting is the financial losses. Financial losses. Yes. There's no consistency and there's no exchange of value. Instead, you let go of your money in a fanciful hope that something bigger is coming. And so with sports betting, there's no consistency and there's no exchange of value. You win today, tomorrow you lose. You let go of your money with the hope that something bigger is coming. Oh, tomorrow I'll win. Oh, don't worry, tomorrow I'll win. And then tomorrow too, you will not win. The following day, I'll win. And so there's no consistency. And so one reason why you need to put a stop to sports betting is the financial losses. The second reason is risk of addiction. Risk of addiction. Sports betting, like other forms of gambling, can be highly addictive. The rush of excitement and anticipation when placing bets and the potential for winning can trigger your brain reward system. This releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with your pleasure and reward. When you experience a win, the behavior is reinforced, making you more likely to repeat it to seek the same pleasurable feeling. And so it, it's a psychological effect. Sports betting can cause a psychological effect. It can cause an addiction. Yes. Over time, your brain may become conditioned to associate sports betting with a sense of gratification, leading to a compulsive desire to continue gambling. You think you are in control, but all this while you are not. You are already an addict. So you can get addicted to it. It can take over your brain. And that is a serious challenge. There is also the near-miss effect, which is a particularly potent trigger for addiction. A near-miss. Oh, this one there was just a slight mistake. So I can just correct that in the, my next bet and I'll win. So there's always a near-miss. A near-miss occurs when a bet comes close to winning, but ultimately falls short. These near wins can stimulate your brain similarly to actual wins. This makes you believe that you are closer to winning and encourages you to keep trying. And since you, are, you just lost, you may feel the compulsion to chase losses. After experiencing a loss, there is the drive, drive to place more bets and an attempt to recoup your losses or regain the excitement of winning. Unfortunately, this behavior can lead to a cycle of increasing bets and greater financial losses. A near-miss effect. The near-miss effect is, is even dangerous than you even winning. Yes. Over time, you will discover you find it difficult to control your betting impulses, leading to the development of a betting addiction. Betting addiction can have severe consequences on your life, affecting your mental health, relationship, and overall quality of life. This is how serious betting can get. You may say, oh, I am just betting, not trying to be an addict or anything. As we mentioned here, no one starts betting with plans to get addicted. However, one bet and then another. Before you know it, you have problem gambling on your hands which leads us to our next point yes and so it can cause addiction and 
addiction is it's 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 very serious and sometimes it can take a very long time to break from certain addictions certain addictions so let's look at the point number three why you need to stop gambling negative impact on relationship negative impact on relationship when someone develop a betting problem it can affect various aspects of their personal relationships this include their family their friends and their romantic partners one of the most significant consequences of betting addiction is the illusion of trust between the individual and their loved ones. As a better, when you hide your betting activities or lie about the extent of your betting, it can create a breach of trust that is difficult to repair. And so betting can have a negative impact on your relationship because you don't want your loved ones, you don't want your partners to know you are betting. Sometimes you can hide it from them and once they find out it can it can cause a lot of issues as sports betting becomes a priority for you you may neglect your responsibilities at home work or even school this neglect can lead to frustration and resentment from family members who have who feel burdened by your gambling habits gambling addiction can cause you to become emotionally distant from your loved ones Yes, it can absorb your mental capacity. All you think about is betting. Hey, Liverpool is playing against Chelsea. I need to bet. Hey, next week, there's leg one. I need to bet. So your mind is always consumed with betting activities. Preoccupation with betting and the emotional highs and lows associated with betting can make it challenging for you to be fully present and engage in your relationship. Like I said, yes, it takes you away from, 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 from the beauty of your relationship. If you happen to have a family with children, gambling addiction can be especially detrimental. The emotional tumor and instability caused by the addiction can have long lasting effects on your children's emotional and mental developments or psychological development. This is how far betting can lead to negative impact on your relationship. Let's look at point four, time and productivity loss. Sports betting can cause time and productivity loss. If you have been into sports betting for a while, you have probably noticed this. The excessive time spent constantly checking us, <laughs> placing bets or researching teams can divert your attention away from work or school tax, resulting in reduced productivity and performance. You're always checking us, checking, uh, placing bets or researching teams. This can, this can take away productive hours. This preoccupation can also distract your daily routine, affecting your sleep pattern, eating habits, and overall well-being. So I know someone who will go and sit at the betting center from morning to evening and will not eat anything. So it is distracting their eating habit. They don't even sleep. There are people, even in the night, they are thinking about <laughs> the next bet they need to place. The irregular schedule and lack of structure can further exacerbate the negative impact on productivity on overall functioning. Engaging in sports betting can consume leisure time that can that could have been spent on other fulfilling and enjoyable activities. As the addiction takes hold, hobbies, social outings, and quality time with those you love may be sacrificed in favor of betting-related pursuits. So there are people, because of their betting activities, they don't even have social life. They are always consumed or they are always preoccupied with betting activities. Yes, you may withdraw from social events or gathering to have more time for betting or to avoid questioning about your activities. It is very difficult, if not almost impossible, to lead a healthy work or family life as a better. You may think you can handle it at the beginning. With time, you will realize that the addiction will win you over. 
If you have been betting for long, you probably know this already. Yes. And so that's why you need to stop betting. Let's look at the last, the last reason you need to stop betting. The emotional tour. The emotional tour. Sports betting involves placing bets on events with unpredictable outcomes. Chelsea versus Liverpool. Liverpool to score first. And then Chelsea will score first. And then your bet is sport. Chelsea versus Liverpool. Seven corners in first half. <laughs> and then no team will even get a corner in the first half. This, these are just unpredictable outcomes. Yes. The uncertainty of whether a bet will win or lose can lead to heightening anxiety and nervousness, especially as the event draws near. And so, if Liverpool is playing against Chelsea and you have predicted that there will be two goals in the first half and now they have played 40 minutes, Liverpool has scored one. And so, you need another goal. Either Chelsea will equal as or Liverpool will score. And the goal is not coming. See this anxiety. See this anxiousness. It can even kill. Yes. This constant anticipation can be emotionally taxing. And anxiety can intensify as the stakes increase. When a bet results in a loss, bettors may experience feeling of frustration and disappointment. Despite investing time, money and effort into analyzing the odds and making what seem like an informed decision the outcome may not align with their expectation so you can invest time money everything you place your odds and then at the end of the 90 minutes everything go against you everything go against you and when losses occur repeatedly the emotions are heightening so this will take emotional toll on you Take emotional toll you. The financial loss incurred through sports betting can lead to significant stress and worry about one's financial situation. As debts accumulate and savings diminish, bettors may feel overwhelmed by financial pressures, contributing to feeling of helplessness and despair. The unpredictable nature of sports betting outcomes can result in frequent mood swings. Hmm. Bettors may experience high when they win bets, leading to a temporary sense of euphoria. Conversely, losing bets can trigger lows, causing feeling of sadness and dejection. The emotional roller coaster of sports betting can lead to a cycle of behavior. And so if, 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 if you live with a better, mm, they can give you stress as well because they are most swings. Today they win bet, they have this high energy. Tomorrow they lose, they have this dull spirit. This, this is an emotional tour on, on, on the better. Yes, this cycle can perpetuate emotional tumor and heightening the negative impacts on mental well-being. And so, sports betting can be enticing form of entertainment offering the thrill of uncertainty and the prospect of winning money. However, it's essential to recognize that sports betting carries inherent risk and it can lead to negative consequences such as financial loss, addiction, and emotional distress. If you want to build what? Sports betting is not the way to go. And I'll repeat this. If you want to build what? Sports betting is not the way to go. Get Rich for sure is better than get rich quick. Think about it. World bidding involves patience and making the right financial decisions. With a focus on self-improvement, responsible choices, and building positive connections with others, you can overcome sports betting addiction and discover how to live a healthy life financial life and so we have looked at some of the vital reasons why you need to stop sports betting sports betting is not the way to build wealth 
And like I said, get rich for sure. It's better than get rich quick. When you look at the Forbes richest people in the world, no one is exposed better. They are all creating value. They are all making money legally. They are not gambling. Gambling is not investing. This is the reason why you need to put a stop to sports betting and add value to yourself. Learn and leverage the right investment vehicles to build what? We will look at how gamblers can save or how you can stop gambling and save money in our next video so keep watch for that thank you very much and i hope this video was helpful leave a comment subscribe to the channel share this with your friends your friends who are betting share this with them they need it they need to hear all these reasons yes thank you and see you in our next video